Hello guys, in this video we talk about uh, moon, okay, and uh, in this video we talk about the detailed structure of the bone and we will also see what is inside, what is present inside the bone. So here I draw the bone. So first of all we label it, okay, we label the names, what is the name of this part, what is the name of this part of the bone, what is the name of this part. So the, this part, this part this head part okay this head part this head part this head part is called epiphysis okay this part this uh, end part is called epiphysis same here this part is called epiphysis Now this narrow part, this shaft narrow part of the bone, this part is called diaphysis. Okay, so this part, this uh, the end part, the end parts of the bone is called epiphysis, and this narrow part of the bone is called the diaphysis. And here is some special here are present uh, uh, inside the bone. There are present the cavity like structure. This is this is cavity which is present inside the bone and this cavity is called bone marrow cavity okay so this inside inside the, the present uh, inside the bone there is present uh, the cavity which is called the bone marrow cavity and it is filled by the bone marrow it is filled by bone marrow and this bone marrow is yellow bone marrow bone marrow especially it is uh, uh, it is filled with the fat so this is the part of uh, uh, let me repeat it this uh, there this is part of the epiphysis this is the diaphysis and uh, between in inside the diaphysis part okay this this part is uh, there is present in the bone marrow cavity and uh, the another part is also called the epiphysis so here is the another part here is the another part this is the here is present the another part that's called the metaphysis okay this is the part this is called the metaphysis here is also present the metaphysis here is also sign metaphysis so there is also present metaphysis and there is also present meta why, why there uh, there are present the zone of growth okay why the elongation of bones occurs and there is when the zone of growth where the elongation of bones occurs so here is uh, here are some another also here are some another things this there is a special layer okay there is a special layer which is called peri Ostium. Okay, there is a special layer called uh, periosteum, and inner side of the cavity here in this cavity part, there is the another layer called endoosteum. Okay, so the bone, the uh, the bone in this part, endo this uh, diaphysis part, there is a special layer called uh, the periosteum, and the inside of the periosteum there is another one layer that is called the endoosteum. So here is also here is the present zone of growth where the elongation of bones occurs. So we will go inside the bone and we will know what is the there what what are in this side in this space there are the, some space. So what are present uh, inner the inner side of the bone and what is present in this this uh, space. So this part this part of the bone. I will cut it is uh, cut it the bone and we will draw it here there is the cut it part okay and
this is the cutted part of the bone okay and this layer is called periosteum and this layer is called endosteum and i draw here some small space okay i will tell the name of this, uh, these small spaces the, these small spaces are present here in uh, spaces as i said uh, these spaces which are present uh, between uh, endosteum and periosteum there are some spaces and, and there are present some small spaces uh, these small circles i will tell you so these circles are called haversian canals haversian canals so i will try a little bit larger so this is the bone okay and this is the here is present the cavity this is bone marrow cavity this is the bone marrow cavity and this is the there are present space here are these haversian canals okay these haversian canals are vertically present here there are present haversian canals vertically so these haversian canals are connected with each other okay these haversian canals are connected with each other obliquely okay these haversian canals are connected with each other obliquely and what is the job of the haversian canals the job of the haversian canal is in between there are present uh, blood vessels there are present uh, nerves which nourishes the uh, bones so uh, i will tell you some uh, there are some special cells you need to know about that this says first of all i will tell about, tell about that cells there are some special cells present okay the first one is osteoblast and the second one is osteocyte and the third one is osteoclast so these are the some special cells which are present inside the bone so the what is the job of the osteoblast osteocyte and uh, osteoclast i will tell you so the osteoblast what is the main job of the osteoblast the osteoblast uh, job is it's it releases some matrix okay that matrix uh, or it releases some hardy material okay so it releases some matrix or hardy material this matrix is hardy material okay i will tell you what is the composition of the matrix and this uh, uh, this matrix the composition of this matrix is protein protein and uh, another two things that's calcium carbonate and the another one is calcium phosphate these two this calcium carbonate and the calcium phosphate makes the bone makes this matrix hardy so this is the osteoblast job is uh, release the some hardy material that's the matrix that is uh, uh, the proteins that is the calcium carbonate that is the calcium phosphate and these two calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate makes this bone uh, makes this bone hardy okay and what is the job of the osteocyte so when the osteoblast releases the matrix or release this hardy material so the osteoblast themselves changed in the osteocyte so once this osteoblast releases the hardy material it converts into the osteocyte or it themselves change into the osteocyte so what is the job of the osteocyte the osteocyte job is to maintain that hardy material this hardy material or matrix okay so once this releases the material 
okay it themselves change into the osteocyte and the osteocyte's job is maintain is that material inside the bone okay so the last cell the last cell is osteoclast and what is the job of the osteoclast the osteoclast job is it eats the old osteocytes so we can see here we can say here here are present some making cells and here are present some uh, eating cells so the osteoblast and osteocytes are makes the bone and this osteoclast eats up uh, the osteocytes which are old cells and it eats up these uh, those uh, osteocyte cells so i will make here the another diagram which can help you in understand so this is the endosteum layer and this is the periosteum and in between endosteum and periosteum they are present this is in this side there this side is marrow present they represent marrow so there are aversion canals okay there are aversion canals so the aversion canals okay i will draw the one aversion canal here and we will we see what are around what is present around the aversion canal so this is the aversion canal okay around the aversion canal there are some uh, rings present okay there are present some rings I'll make it one more ring so there are present this is the Haversian canals okay this is the Haversian canal and around the Haversian canal there are some special rings okay and these rings are called concentric rings okay so in between concentric rings there are some um, spaces there are some irregular spaces same here there are present regular spaces and these irregular spaces are connected with each other okay these are connected with each other and what is present uh, inside the these irregular spaces there are some there are present uh, osteocytes there are present osteocyte okay here also and here also there are present osteocyte okay so haversian canals this have this haversian uh, around the haversian uh, canals there are some special rings which are called the concentric uh, rings and between the concentric uh, rings there are present some irregular spaces and the irregular spaces are filled with the osteocytes so same here okay uh, here there are uh, there are present these these uh, rings these irregular spaces are called lacuna okay so it's uh, it has a, it have a, also it have a special name that is called lacuna so these rings same are present here like this Same like in this Haversian canals. Same like in this. Same like this. So there are present these concentric rings around the Haversian 
canals so here this this part of the this uh, bone endostem uh, endostem layer and the periosteum layer they represent some special cells they represent some special this is called stem cells okay they represent some and same here stem cells and these stem cells produces the as uh, produces the um, uh, that's osteocytes uh, sorry osteoblast okay osteoblast material and present same here we can say also the stem cell is another name that there are there are the parental cell parental cells and which produces the uh, osteoblast and the osteoblast uh, same uh, releases the hardy material of the bone this releases the hardy material that is the matrix okay and uh, there are present uh, osteo and sites and these osteocytes once they uh, old and the, then the another cell that there, there uh, the name is uh, another cell is osteoclast which eat up the old cells of the osteocytes so here is the here uh, or the structure or the as i uh, as i show here the structure of the bone so diagrammatically i hope you uh, understand it very uh, betterly so i hope you like this video share this video comment this video thank you